Hey guys, happy new year. We are back <laughs> with our couples chat. I know it's been a minute. Yes, it's been a minute. Yes. It's a good vacation. <laughs> a little break. So here's what's been going on these past few months that we've kind of been MIA. I've been uploading here and there, but just not as consistently. Started a new job, so I'm back to work full time. That's been a treat and some changes going on there. Now we're, we face the challenge of starting a whole new routine, getting the kids up. Um, now he's dropping the kids off. Yeah, so I get the kids up in the morning, get them dressed and ready to go to school, and then drop them off. At, uh, our daughter goes at 8.05 and our son at 8.15. From there, I get on the train and commute about an hour and a half to work. And I get in about 9.45 and then don't get home till usually 7.30 to 7.45. So it's a long day. Yeah, basically it's, it, it's, yeah, it's a long day. I get home early, which is great. I'm working the early shift. Um, I'm about an hour away from home, so I'm up at like, not even the crack of dawn, like one o'clock in the morning. That's when I get up to start my day. And they're still like kind of slumbering away and then we'll get the kids up, so. It's not like I gotta wake up and see you out the door. Oh yeah, that's true. Yes. <laughs> yes. When you're not too make sure, tired. Make sure you're in the car safely. And, it's funny how yeah. you wanted to like add that in there. Yeah. Just saying. Yes, that is true. On my way out, he does get up and make sure that I get in the car and I drive away safely. <laughs> and if it happens to be snowing, he'll clean the car off and stuff, which is great. Yeah. And you also get gas. Yes. <laughs> Just saying. You know, you know, get to scratch. I want to leave out any important. You know. All right, so. Now, I mean, it's just been, we both work five days a week, so we have the weekends off, which is great. So we're here to talk about some of our goals for 2018. You want to go first? Sure. We got a, uh, first goal is to do some home improvements that we've been wanting to do for a long time. So that's, that's the first thing on the agenda for early in, in the year. And hopefully that goes smooth and yeah. well. It's yeah. funny because... We initially wanted to move. <laughs> I thought we were going to be moving like a couple years ago. We were house hunting. And then when I quit my job, I was just like, oh, it really doesn't make any sense for us to go through all that, you know, change. And we just decided to stay here and do some home improvements. So hopefully, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed because I hate construction. Yeah. I hate when my house, our house, is under construction. We've been there. And it's like messy and dusty and it's a lot, especially when you have now two little ones mm -hmm. and a crazy schedule, two crazy schedules on top of that. It's insane. So we're hoping to get through it in one piece. Yes. What else? Health goals, I guess. No. Oh yes, our health goals. Let's talk about yes. it. We decided to go plant-based a few months ago. Actually, it's been a gradual thing. So we, we watched a couple of documentaries about food and health and learned a lot and for me it's kind of like scared straight kind of thing like uh, this is not good we need to make some changes and started by going vegetarian cut out the chicken and fish and I, which I never really ate a lot of anyway so that wasn't that hard and beef I haven't eaten in over a couple of years so chicken was the only one that was hard and that wasn't even too bad so that was you know, we eliminated, I eliminated that and um, any kind of seafood that, you know, I would eat once in a while. Yeah. And uh, that came from there. Well, for you, dairy was especially yeah, hard. Dairy, yeah, dairy, we didn't, I, we didn't stop till like September maybe. So the no. first couple of months, yeah, it was like early September. Because oh. the first couple of months was just vegetarian where you're not, we weren't eating any beef or chicken mm -hmm. or fish, but still eating your cheeses and ice creams and all dairy products. Well, for you, you also had health concerns because, you know, he'd go to the doctor, high cholesterol runs in his family. So, for me, diabetes is, it runs rampant in my family for the most part. I feel like on one side, like almost everybody has diabetes. Mm. So, I've always maintained a healthy diet. Fortunately, my levels have always been okay, minus a couple things like iron, vitamin D. Uh, so I started to become more conscious of that. 
and after watching these documentaries, we've been kind of on this kick. We've been educating ourselves because, I mean, how, how much did we know about food before we even watched these documentaries? It's not even funny. I knew nothing yeah. uh, aside from, you know, where you get your calcium and the importance of vitamin D from being pregnant and vitamin A and f eating fruits and vegetables. I knew all that stuff, but I didn't understand the ramifications of eating meat, fish, poultry, mm -hmm. um, nitrates found in meats and things like that. And we're not here to say, oh, well, you need to do this. This is what works for us. But we just became educated about the food industry. And it was just so important and it made us say, all right, we're not only feeding ourselves, we have a family to feed and we want to instill that in our kids. Yeah, and it's, and it's paid off. I mean, oh, yeah. so like lost weight, I just went to the doctor. My my cholesterol is, is as good as it's been in ever since ever. I, it's it's at a good level, um, so it's it's working. And you know, I just want to look to continue it. Yeah, my skin is much better. Yeah, it's like all thing. clear. I, mm -hmm. Before I was having all these breakouts, you know, from eating shellfish and from dairy. And the important thing about dairy is that it. it it really stopped our son right now. He's battling a, a little bit of a cold, but he would wake up like congested, like mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Yeah. And ever since we eliminated the dairy from his, his diet, he's just been so much better. I mean, the pediatrician, of course, when we told her that the kids are plant-based, they're like, uh, what are you doing for protein? What are you doing for calcium? And they looked very concerned. Mm -hmm. But the reality is there's so many fruits and vegetables, so many other ways you could get your nutrients. They take, you know, multivitamins. Um, they drink their smoothies, their green smoothies. It's packed with a lot of nutrients, um, iron, fiber, uh, protein. You can even buy protein powder um, that's organic, of course, and you can add that to your shakes. And it gives you the protein that you're missing from the meat fish that you normally use broccoli. or eat sorry broccoli, broccoli. um yeah, they like orzo which has protein yeah pastas chickpea pasta mm -hmm. they they'll have that there's just so many other ways and the fact that we have everything at our fingertips you can google just about anything mm -hmm. um, we've been able to kind of experiment and swap out different things and we're still able to have ice cream we just have coconut ice cream yeah. or um uh, you know, what was the other one that we have? We have coconut ice. Yeah, it's coconut ice cream mm -hmm. that they can have. So, yeah, we're making it happen. You know, we don't, we're not here to preach and say everybody should live a plant-based lifestyle, but it, it works for us and it's fulfilling in so mm -hmm. many different ways. And you keep learning new things and yeah. you know, ad yeah. adapting different things to the diet. And it's going well. I mean, the holidays were a little, <laughs> a little rough. <laughs> But not rough in a sense that, you know, we gave in, we succumbed to the you know, fish or whatnot and chicken. It was, yeah. You know, Just was going a little extra on the non-dairy ice cream. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and dairy brownies and... Yeah. Well, and that's another thing. Like, instead of having eggs, you can substitute with applesauce. You can substitute with bananas. There are um, different ways to make brownies that are gluten-free, vegan-friendly, and all that stuff that we've been doing. So we're still able to enjoy a lot of the treats that we enjoy. So, pancakes. and the kids love it. Yeah, kids, we found pancakes. some pancakes that the kids love and we, we like, and yeah. um, no dairy. So, so far it's And they're actually easier to make than the other ones. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's easier it's to make. <laughs> and it's cost-effective because now you can buy anything online. Yeah. Or you can go to mm -hmm. the, the grocery store and find a lot of, you know, vegan-friendly ingredients. We do our own pizzas. We do our own pizzas. Dairy-free cheese. The kids love that. Um, so we've just been able to make it work, and we're just arming them with the tools they need. When they get out in the real world, they can decide what they want. But this is how it is, and it's been working for us. So I'm really happy about that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the holidays were interesting, but I was able to bring some things. It was kind of like a potluck, so we were able to... Everybody was happy. You know, they had their meats. Now, I put meat... Um, when I was a teenager, so I stopped eating burgers and beef and all that stuff I didn't eat since I was like 13. Chicken, 
I think earlier this summer I cut that out and the finish was oh. Yeah, that was this hard. took you a little longer. <laughs> yeah, we went away, we went to Massachusetts, and it was just like, oh my goodness. It, that was tough. So, um, once I got that out of my system, dairy followed soon after, and I've never looked back. So for 2018, I want to continue on this path. Mm -hmm. We're doing big things. What are some of your goals? Um, I don't have like those resolutions yeah. like I'm going to lose weight or oh my gosh I want no I'm just happy and yeah. we're happy we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. The goals are more so for our kids. You saw there we you know put a little something together for them as well. And you know they're going through their own growth spurts and advancements in different areas. So we're going to help them with that. Is there anything else you want to add? I got nothing else. I know, it's like kind of boring, right? I, I still want to continue with the channel. We're going to still be doing our videos, so please stay with us. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Check out Anastasia. She has her own, our artist. She has her own channel as well. And um, I'm just going to, I'm going to try and keep up with the blogging too. I mean, my work schedule is a little different, but I still want to maintain weatherandkermama.com. I have a lot of... Um, we have a lot of parenting stuff on there, as well as some curly hairstyles and things like that. So we want to continue with that into 2018. And just like play it by ear, right? Yeah. So excited. Keep it moving. Keep it pushing. <laughs> Do some Stay more traveling. Yeah. 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 All right, guys, thank you so much for staying with us. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel if you are already a subscriber. Thanks so much for watching our videos and commenting. Uh, the not so good comments could, you know, go one side, but we appreciate all the positivity. Just don't read them. I don't. Just don't read Once them. I see, like, okay, it's going a different way, all right, okay, let me just move yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. All right, guys. Thanks right. so much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. Yes. You see a yellow, a red thing? Yeah. And also, there's one on top and one at the bottom that's like going on and off. I'm working the weekends. He's working the weekends. So it's. Anastasia, you just bumped okay. the thing. Well, you did a much better job at that starting out. So let's Thank talk you. about. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shay. You gotta... Okay. okay. Go ahead. Sorry, say that. No, you have to go inside. Go. No, Shay, no ice cream if you don't stop. You can hit stop. No, you have to hold the camera. It's gonna fall. You have to hold it. Did you hit stop? I'm not the type's gotta have someone. I'm not the type's gotta be in love. I had a lot of people come and go, and plus, anyway.